else, like politicians have figured something out, and it's good to know about it, though. Unless you're a political junkie, you probably don't know about a very important wrinkle in Tennessee election law, but it could have a big impact on the outcome election day. Politics sometimes called a contact sport, but one rule is a, kind of like a puzzle. It can change the voters and change the shape of certain races because of a simple twist. Fox 17's Roger Suzanne has the story. Khalil Izzard makes sweet music on the pedestrian bridge downtown. But he feels like one Tennessee election law is a bit off key. I think that's out of the ordinary, actually. <laughs> on Tuesday, when most folks vote yes or no on the proposed constitutional amendments, they probably think they'll be decided by a simple majority. But that is not the case. I was a little surprised when you told me that. <laughs> Izzard is not alone. Here's the deal. In order for a proposed amendment to be passed, more than half of the people who vote in the governor's race must also cast a ballot in favor of the amendment. Sounds weird. Sounds strange. In other words, if 10 people vote in the governor's race, at least six must vote for the proposed amendment. Obviously, we want people to be educated, informed voters. Secretary of State Trey Hargett says people have been asking him about this election wrinkle all month. You know, a lot of people don't understand that the tie to the governor's race and don't understand the threshold that's involved there. The quirk creates an interesting dynamic. In theory, folks who favor any of the constitutional amendments can magnify their stance by sitting out the governor's race and voting yes for the proposed amendment they support. It causes people to be more responsible for their own change in their community. Depending on your opinion, our forefathers deserve the credit or blame. You see, the rule was set up in the Tennessee Constitution. Izzard just wishes election laws were as simple as music. Because I would just say that it would make it more cut and dry. That was Roger Suzanne in reporting. Now, if you'd like some more clarity on any of those proposed constitutional amendments you'll be expected to vote on on Tuesday, just go to our website, fox17.com.